Hey guys, today I want to show you how you can morph any object into any other object. This effect is really simple to create and well, while it does kind of look a little bit retro, it can be useful in many different situations. Now, let's get started with the tutorial. Ah, just a second. Assume we want to warp a trash bin into a cereal box. To create this effect we will need three elements. Background footage, footage with only the trash bin on the table and footage with only the cereal box on the table positioned in the same spot as the trash bin was. Next we mask out the two objects we want to use for the warp effect, in this case the trash bin and the cereal box. We then duplicate the masks and paste them onto the other object. These additional masks are required so we can apply the reshape effect in After Effects. See, the reshape effect requires two masks on the layer to function, a source and a destination mask. It can then reshape the contents of the source mask to fit into the shape of the destination mask. We then animate the trash bin to reshape into the cereal box as it fades out and, at the same time, animate the cereal box to fade in as it reshapes from the trash bin. If we now overlay these two elements, add a bit of a shadow, some glow effects and particles, the warp effect is complete. Let's have a look at how you can do all of this in After Effects. I already have a new composition set up with a video of me trying to get some breakfast. On top of this footage I have a background image with an empty table. What I have done is to mask out the area where the cereal box is to cover it up and create a clean backdrop on which I can add the warp effect. I'm fading this layer out just as I'm about to pick up the actual cereal box. The top two layers are static shots of the cereal box and the trash bin on the table. First, mask out the trash bin as precisely as possible. Give the mask a descriptive name so you can identify it easily. You can do this the same way you name layers, by pressing the Enter key while having the mask selected. Next, mask out the cereal box and give this mask a useful name as well. Now, select the cereal box mask and copy it over to the trash bin layer. Then, select the trash bin mask and copy it over to the cereal box layer. Set the mode for both duplicated masks to none. This is important to avoid them interfering with the already masked out trash bin and cereal box elements. For now, hide the cereal box and select the trash bin. You should see the two masks on this layer. Go to the effects and presets panel, search for the reshape effect and apply it to the trash bin layer. This effect takes a source and a destination mask and reshapes the contents of the source to fit into the shape of the destination. Our source will be the trash bin mask and our destination will be the cereal box mask. If you now change the reshape percentage on the effect, you can see the trash bin being reshaped into the cereal box shape. However, it does not look very good, it's all twisty and weird. To fix this, we need to set up the correspondence points for the reshape effect. These points tell the reshape effect which positions on the source mask correspond to which positions on the destination mask. Expand the correspondence points property on the reshape effect and click on the area with the number of pairs. On the two masks on the layer you will now see all the current correspondence points which at the moment is only one and even that one is not positioned correctly. To adjust the correspondence point simply drag the start and end markers to match up the point on the source mask to the correct point on the destination mask. The more correspondence points you have the more precisely the reshape effect will do what you want it to. You can add more points simply by alt clicking onto the source or destination mask. With all the correspondence points set up, the reshape effect looks a lot better. Now, go to the correct time in your video when you want the reshape effect to occur and animate the reshape percentage from 0 to 100%. At the same time, animate the layer opacity from 100 to 0%. This will cause the trash bin to fade out as it reshapes. Next, repeat the process for the cereal box. Add the reshape effect, selecting the cereal box as the source and the trash bin as the destination mask. Set up the correspondence points to ensure the transition looks good. Animate the reshape percentage from 100 to 0% and at the same time animate the layer opacity from 0 to 100%. This will cause the cereal box to fade in as it takes shape from the trash bin. 
The last thing to do is to enable both the trash bin and the cereal box layer and your warp effect is complete. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and as always if you have any comments, questions or suggestions please leave them in the section below. And please subscribe for more cool videos coming soon. Until next time, I will see you later. Thank <laughs> you.